Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm going to do quarantine quilt minis. It's day 23 of being quarantined, and I know there's a lot of people that are anxious and possibly worried, so I thought this would be a great project to really dig into that creativity and make these beautiful, gorgeous quilts. I'm taking my junk mail and I'm going to cut it into two and a half by three and a half inch pieces. This is the exact size of like a credit card or driver's license. So this is my, ba my box of fabric scraps. I have a lot of vintage scraps in here, too. Um, just scraps that I've collected throughout the years. And um, you can use any kind of scraps that you have. And they, your scraps do not have to match. That's the beauty of this project. The way that I show you, you don't, you don't have to match your fabrics at all. You just, you're going to sew them on to your piece of 2.5 by 3.5 cardboard. And I'm going to show you how to do that because it's really easy. So I'm taking my scraps and I'm just laying them over the cardstock. And I'm going to lay them very randomly. No rhyme, no reason. Just lay them, overlap them. Lay them on top of each other, beside each other. And like I said, they don't have to match. And I'm going to sew all the way down the one side, turn it, sew across the bottom, turn it again, sew it up the side, and then turn it again and sew it so that it sews in, in a rectangle. And that's all the sewing that I'm going to do to attach these little quilt scraps. So I've fast forwarded this so you can watch me and without getting bored how I do all my little cardboards. I chose this project because these little cards you can um well you'll see at the end but you can put affirmations on them and you can put them in your wallet, carry them with you, you can hang them all decorate your house with them. And really focus on on changing your mindset. There's so much negativity with this coronavirus and everybody being quarantined and people losing jobs and so much negativity out there. We really need to dig deep. What inspires us? What makes us happy? What's working for you right now? That's what you need to focus on. We really need to listen to our inspirations and write them down. The minute you get an inspiration, write it down. And those are the things that you want to focus on, not this negative stuff all the time. It's so unhealthy for our mental health to constantly listen to stuff of coronavirus. And everywhere you look, somebody's got a face mask, you know, can't, can't get near each other, can't even get a hug from anybody. So I really, really thought this was a great project to just focus in on staying positive and really listening to our inspirations. Here's my clusters of fabric, and I made sure that they have at least three quarters all the way around the back of the cardstock, hanging over the edge. Now I'm going through my little stash of lace and ribbon, and I'm looking for fabric that is sheer or see-through. 
any kind of silk, anything that's see-through. And you want to stick with lighter colors. And we're just going to go to the sewing machine again. And we're going to sew strips of lace and ribbon very, very randomly like we did with the fabric scraps. And just sew them right over the scraps. You can sew them, you know, up and down, sideways, diagonal. It makes no difference. I think it's important for us as individuals to take at least 10 minutes of every day to do something that you love. Just 10 minutes by yourself doing something that you love. In my case, it's arts and crafts. <laughs> As you're sewing along, you'll notice that the scraps are starting to look kind of cool. I'm just trimming all around the edges of the cardstock. I'm leaving about three quarter inch and then I'm cut, I trimmed all my corners. And now I'm gonna take a glue stick and I'm gonna glue, glue the pieces, the edges back, or you can sew them any way you wanna do it. So here's a quick peek at what they look like. There's actually a lot of detail in these. As you start to decorate your quarantine quilt minis, you might get carried away. There's so many things that you can use. I mean, paper and labels and beads and lace and sequins and found objects. I mean, there is no limit to what you can do to make these quarantine quilt minis. And they're so adorable. When you decorate your quarantine quilt mini, you want to stay focused. Focus on what inspires you, what makes you happy. Just leave the rest of the world outside and focus on you and just have fun. Just have fun with it. And if you do something that you don't like, you can cover it up. You can, there is no rhyme and no reason. Just let it flow, whatever comes to you. So I showed you sequins and now I'm showing you old jewelry. I love using old jewelry on these. It can really make your art piece stand out. That and some charms. So as you can see, there are so many things that you can use to decorate your quarantine quilt minis. That's what I love about them. They're so cute and adorable. So as I give you more ideas across the screen, I hope that you like this video. It's actually my second video ever. And I hope you feel very inspired. And I hope I've eased your mind about the quarantine. And just don't worry because things always work out anyway at the end. They always work out. Here I'm showing you some foam rubber sheets. Those are awesome to stamp on, and then you can take your embroidery, do some embroidery around it. It's really 
gives it a nice effect. So I hope you give this project a try. It's so, so fun. And remember, if you put affirmations on your cards, you can put them in your wallet and carry them with you and read them as often as you need to or would like to. So use your imagination, stay happy, stay focused. Give this project a try. And without further ado, everybody's been waiting so patiently. So let's get on with the big reveal. Are you ready? Yeah.